Thank you for listening to MichaelFranklinJr.com on Anchor FM. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello, everybody. Welcome to MichaelFranklinJr.com. Today, I have uh, various topics that I want to talk about. One of them is Byron Allen. Uh, Again, you know, I have to send another message out to people who are uh, hearing about Byron Allen and his economic inclusion. I believe the hearing was today. I didn't get to hear anything or find out anything about it yet. I am looking online to find out what happened in the Supreme Court today because it's November 13th and I believe that uh, everything was supposed to be happening today uh, of them uh, uh, filing the lawsuit or trying to uh, uh, change uh, section, what is it, uh, 1081 or something like that from, from the civil rights lawsuit, I mean the civil rights for economic inclusion um, that uh Byron Allen is fighting right now. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of different people and it seems like nobody knows that this is happening right now. Uh, And that's very disappointing. You know, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I get a lot of information from from online. And uh, I don't know if everybody else do it, but, you know, nothing's being broadcast on the news. He was on The Breakfast Club, but I don't know who's. I don't ever even listen to the Breakfast Club interviews on the radio. Uh, I, I usually see them online. So uh, you have to be on tail in order to get all of this information. And uh, I've been watching a lot, a lot of videos about Byron Allen and the things that he's doing, the things that he's talking about. He just came out with a movie uh, called Hostiles. Um, Hostiles is supposed to be about I didn't get to see the movie. I was trying to watch the movie so I can really see uh, the points that he hit on. But it was about um, how the pretty much the United States has taken uh, America from the Native Americans or from what they would call the so-called Indians, because I guess they thought they, they were in, the, in India. But uh, <clears throat> that's uh, one thing I've been watching a, a lot of a lot of videos about getting a lot of information and talking to a lot of people about it and and there's still a lot of people don't don't even know don't even know what's going on right now as far as the he owns entertainment studios he's black you know one of the black billionaires and he's really reaching to be uh a trillionaire and and i don't I, i was also watching uh uh the black financial channel uh, black whatever uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins and um, you know he was saying that maybe he should stay in his own lane and just deal with the black dollar uh, deal with black people in our own you having our own money and having uh, you know just dealing with black people but I remember Byron Allen even addressed that situation he said he doesn't he wants to be a global entity he doesn't want to be pigeonholed to just do black movies just focus on black people. He wants to be a global entertainment mogul and not just for black people. You know, I know uh, a lot of the times uh, us as black people, we don't want to be, I know you, you're right. We know a lot of the times we don't want to be included in someone else's system. But I think that he wants to go outside of someone else's system. He wants to not be, not only not be included in their system, but go around and, you know, attack it from the outside of their system. You know, we, we, we're stuck in this, right now we're stuck in this white man system. Cause even if you build a business, when you try to build a business, you have to go to the secretary of state. The secretary of your state 
and you have to put money into the this government in order to have a business license in order to be able to do business you know that is we're still we still have to follow their system regardless uh but in, in the entertainment industry uh you can create something and begin to get paid off of it you can create podcasts it's all about content he said in the next you can become a millionaire just off posting content online so i encourage everybody i you know i'm a web developer i do uh, graphic design for websites i do graphic and, and um you know right now i'm getting ready to get into uh, video production and producing videos for, that go that are going online on youtube and all of that type of stuff so i am going to be creating a lot of content he has got me super motivated right now uh with the the last speech that he just had uh it, it, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing time just listening to uh, listening to this man and seeing the things that he's doing. Uh, I've been learning a lot. So, uh, <clears throat> you guys, I just need you to stay tuned in the near future. I'm going to keep doing, uh, bringing out information on this as soon as I find out what happened at the, in the Supreme Court um, with Comcast and Charter because he's and, and uh, the civil rights, the civil rights, um, the civil rights thing. You know, we have to we, we have to continue to fight because right now the you know the gays and lesbians and the, the homosexuals are doing uh, way more than we are and getting more rights than us as black people. And I'm you know I, I, I'm not against whatever they that they whatever it is that they're doing. However. I really feel that we should be, we as black people should be fighting harder. We should be supporting this man, especially the people who are, um, especially the people who are celebrities and people who have money, you know, who can support him. They should be right there behind them. They, they should be posting information. They should be sharing this information. I haven't seen anything on, you know, anything about, other people who, well, you know, Kamala Harris, I guess Kamala Harris has, wrote, 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 has written a letter. Uh, Bernice King, uh, the, Bernice King, the daughter of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, she's she's supporting. But, you know, I, I really don't see that, that much of a push um, in any other, in you know, in the black community. Matter of fact, most black people don't even know what's going on. Um, so I'm here to let you guys know to go look up Byron Allen, look up all his, you know, watch all his YouTube videos. Um, I, I just did a show a look the other day about um, how America owes Africans $14 trillion for the slave trade, for all the free labor that we've done. Um, <clears throat> you know, I did, uh, I did, I just, I did a show with my daughter uh, talking about the crazy things that people do online to get paid. You know, I, I think that we should, as black people, we should we should do more positive things to get paid. You know, I know we, right now, the, as a matter of fact, the thought movement is going crazy right now with girls being, with girls and guys being uh, straight, you know, non-monogamous relationships, just doing anything that they want to do, uh, having sex with multiple people and just, you know, being players. And I, I was lost when I was young. That's how I grew up. I grew up there thinking that it was okay to uh, mess around with different women. And that was because of music, because of hip hop, because of the things I listened to. You know, they, they basically showed me that it was okay. You know, I've, I've grown up and I've learned a lot now and uh, now I know that man I wish that I was a I wish that I was a virgin until I got married honestly I you know I love my kids and all but I wish that I would have stayed a virgin until I got married I wish I would have married a virgin and that way we would you know the only we'd be the only people that we have ever slept with you know I think this is pretty much uh it's not good it's, it's kind of nasty when you think about it being a, a, you know, nowadays being a grown man, uh, uh, you know, being with somebody who's been with somebody else or, you know, you, 
period. You know, uh, I, I'm, I'm coming from a blended family. You know, my, my I married my wife and my wife had uh, three kids. I had three kids outside of marriage. So, you know, you know, on both ends, we've been with other people and then we come together and now we're, you know, a couple. Um, you know, I love my wife and everything, but I wish, I wish that I would have been the only one. I wish that she had been the only one. However, at this point, that's not the case. So, you know, I just got to live with, live with where I'm at. Um, so that's what I'm doing, living where I'm at. Where I'm at. But uh, <clears throat> there's a lot, there's a lot, lot going on. The, the impeachment of, uh, right now they're pushing to impeach Donald Trump, uh, which is crazy to me. Uh, you know, but it, it shows how far America is coming a little bit, you know, but it, should, it also shows how lost people are, you know, because they they still depend on uh, a president, you know, they still depend on the president of this global corporation to dictate everything that they're going to do um, when you know, they create the laws, the Congress create the laws, and you, you, we still have to depend on uh, the, the White House or a group of white people in the White House to do everything for us. That's why I don't, I don't care about voting. You know, I, I understand what Dr. Boyce Watkins really said. We don't need to include ourselves in their system. I know uh, I don't want to include myself in their system. However, we're uh, at this present point, we're under our system, trying to create our own system within their system. And I want to get out of that. Economic inclusion is something that, you know, we need to do to where we can get out of their system and we can begin to have a say so. I think this man is trying to take power. You know, he's trying to take power. He's trying to go around use the laws that were put on the books to go around them and tell them, listen, I'm not asking you for nothing. I'm taking what I want because I owe that. You owe me that. You know, we created this country. We built it. You know, we built it even though we, we were forced to build it. We built this country, you know. So I'm really, I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about the things that he's doing. I want to support him. I'm going to do everything that I possibly can to support Byron Allen. I'm going to probably keep talking about him. You're probably going to see about 12 different shows uh, within the next couple of weeks where I'm going to talk about Byron Allen. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, Byron Allen, the, everybody, Killer Mike right now, they're doing, the, they're doing some major things. T.I. Is, is doing some major things, um, but, you know, uh, they're, they're investing their money in real estate. I mean, I think, man, I think the future is looking bright for, for African-Americans or for Africans, because I don't even think we, we're not really included and in we don't have economic inclusion. So we can't even say that we're Americans. We can't even say that we're included in America. So... Uh, <clears throat> we need to fight. We need to continue to fight for economic inclusion and uh, to take take our seats at the table. We need to take what we need to take. You know, we have to fight for it. And if they won't give it to us, we have to take it. Um, just like they came over here into this country and they took it. They took it from the people who are already here. Well, we taking it back. You know, we're taking it back and we and we have love in our hearts. That's the difference between us and, you know, those the other people. You know, we have love in our hearts. So, you know, we 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 wouldn't treat people the way that we've been treated. We treat people with love and respect. And, we, you know, especially when they do stuff with us, when they work with us, we do. We, we treat people with love and respect as most black people. Do, we do. Um. You know, unless you cross us, unless you do something wrong to us, we're 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 good. We're good people to everybody, all nationalities. I got good friends, Filipino friends. I got Mexican friends. I got white friends. I got uh, all types of different friends that I could just go to and talk to, and uh, you know, even have these conversations about have conversations about racial equality and racial, you know, the 
the difference between the races or even the the, the familiarity or uh, excuse me not familiarities but similarities between uh the different races uh so i really want to continue to push this thing and share information and and just include myself in the fight because uh, and even the fight for manhood that's another topic that i wanted to talk about because uh you know uh, I don't know if you get well. You guys don't know because I haven't told you. But me and my wife, we live we live in separate we live in separate places, and people are coming talking to me like, "Oh, how are you married?" But you and your wife have uh, two separate places, uh, and I'm like, "What is this thing that you speak of? I don't know. Like, what's the problem? I don't understand. Um, you know what the problem is? Yes, I have my own place. Me and my wife has her own place. I love my wife." We go hang out together. We see each other, you know, but I'm trying to build something. And it seems like uh, as I'm trying to build, I, ha I needed to have, you know, my own place to, to build in. I needed to, it's, it's for credit situations. You know, we're, we're, we're going in two different directions. So, you know, uh, we love each other. Don't get me wrong, but my mind state is on something that's something totally different from her mind state. And I know when you're married, you're supposed to come together and be a team. Well, we're not coming together and being a team. So in order, to, uh, in order for me to accomplish my goals, I have to go and accomplish my goals and allow her to go and accomplish her goals. And then we come back and we meet together. And we both, you know, we both accomplish goals because we have different goals. She wants to do one thing. I want to do, I'm, uh, you know, I'm doing another thing. I'm working on my media. I'm working on my graphic design, my web design my social media, uh, creating content for people. And I do the same thing for her. Uh, you know, she has a line of jewelry, you know, go to, matter of fact, go to sharicefranklin.com. Built the website for her. She has uh, uh, her own line of jewelry and she's getting ready to uh, get into real estate. Um, right now she does insurance. Uh, so she, you know, she's living well. She's, she's working on, um, you know, her own success. And I'm working on my own success. You know, I, 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 as far as graphic design, I do graphic design for printing, uh, website design. Uh, I could create banners and, you know, the, everything's on our website. So michaelfranklinjr.com and uh, MCNM Marketing, which is my company, mcnmmarketing.com. But um, like I said, I'm super excited. I want to see what's happened in this uh, court case. Um, um, I can't wait. I just can't wait. And then uh, I, I, I want to continue to see content from Entertainment Studios. I am going to be one of the biggest supporters that I can. I can, probably can't be the biggest supporter because, you know, I'm not as rich as most people. But right now, I, anything that comes out from Entertainment Studios, I'm looking, I'm looking for it. You know, I'm looking for it. You know, well, I may even watch Pets.TV. Even though he said, even though somebody said that black people don't watch Pets.TV, I'm probably going to start watching Pets.TV because my wife wants a puppy. So now I'm going to start watching Pets.TV so I can see ideas of things that I can do to make the puppy keep her happy. But uh, <clears throat> Pets.TV, Cars.TV, uh, I'll even watch the Weather Channel. <laughs> You know, he owns the Weather Channel. I know uh, white people who watch the Weather Channel that don't know he owns the Weather Channel. So, you know, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what content is on the Weather Channel other than weather. You know, other than how hot it's going to be today or uh, what's going on. And I, I don't know what's on the Weather Channel. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to watch the Weather Channel just to find out what's on the Weather Channel. Uh, but as far as an advertising standpoint, uh, you know the, the 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 man is the man is doing big things. Matter of fact, speaking of advertising, if you guys want to advertise here on the show, uh, if you guys want a special mention, or if you guys want to do an interview, please get in contact with me. My phone number is seven zero two six zero eight four two two six. Please get in contact with me. I will create an episode strictly for you. Uh, we can sit down and do an interview. Um, and you know, have my listeners. Uh, my, my listener, my listeners are growing. 
So, uh, you know, I, I definitely want to be able to share your information with uh, with the business owners that uh, I cur I'm currently dealing with. Uh, we, uh, we're going to be putting together events. You know, my son does music, so, uh, we're, you know, we're going to be at uh, a lot of the open mic open mic nights and performing and uh, my, my daughter's a model. So, you know, we're, and they have a whole group of models, DPMG models. As a matter of fact, we're going to be doing an interview with him really soon. Uh, I really plan on doing an interview with, uh, uh, with Herbert uh, from DPMG models. So uh, <clears throat> that's, you know, uh, I just wanted to share that information about um, all of those things about uh, Byron Allen, about economic inclusion, uh, about uh, the previous shows that I've done, um, about the, the plans that we have that we're, we're trying to create. Uh, we're trying to create some conglomerates. We're trying to help a lot of these businesses grow. Uh, I started working with uh, Empowering to Excel and um, and Rosie Swish some years ago. Uh, their content is still up. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, uh, there's a lot I work with. I've also worked with Nevada Partners who has a real estate program or, uh, you know, a first time home buyers program. They just rebuilt their building and, um, or, or added on to their building. Uh, you know, they also have the Culinary Training Academy. Um, so, you know, if you guys are looking for jobs or work or anything like that, stop by Nevada Partners. Uh, they do help you pay for school. They can provide you with transportation. Uh, you know, I may be all over the place right now, but I just, there's a lot of things that are on my mind. That's the reason why I had to get on, get online and start sharing some of, some of this information that's going through my head uh, because it's big. And after watching uh, the Black Financial Channel, and Dr. Boyce Watkins, there was a few things that I had to address. And, uh, you know, uh, the Byron Allen is like way, he's, his, his mindset is way past uh, just dealing, being pigeonholed. He said he doesn't want to play in the Negro Leagues. He just want, he wants to play in the Global Leagues. You know, I know we, we've had the Negro Leagues and the Negro Leagues was basically just for Negroes. You know, we don't want to stay basically just with Negroes. I know we have the buying power, but that's a limit. You know, I don't like limits. I don't want to limit anything. I would like I would like to, you know, me personally, just like him, I'm sure he doesn't want just to be limited uh, to black movies and black this and black that, you know, only for black people, you know, and, and being being non-racial, you know, because that's a kind of like a racial thing. You know, you just want everything, you just want to do everything only for black people. No, that's, 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 I think that's kind of like reverse racism. You know, we shouldn't just only do everything for black people. You know, I love my black people, period. You know, I love my black people still, still. But I don't want to just be pigeonholed just into just doing everything for black people. And I know that's already a limitation that's on me because uh, because of the way I am, you know, the, my history that I came I came up around black people. So, you know, I, I may speak, I may not speak well, or I may speak, you know, broken English or not speak, you know, the English correctly or use my grammar correctly if someone's this someone said, you know, someone told me, oh, oh, you need to learn grammar. I was like, okay, well, hey, I am who I am. Uh, you know, I love myself. Maybe I don't need, I, I speak the way I speak because that's the way I was raised. You know, that's the way I grew up. I grew up around black people. You know, not saying that black people can't learn grammar, but I'm just saying uh, in my culture, in my, in, in the neighborhood that I grew up in, uh, school wasn't all that cool, you know. Uh, I was, you know, I was pretty smart, but I did. I wasn't really into school, you know, like I should have been. I was more in the streets. It was a, like, you know, I was, I was in the gladiator school, pretty much. 
you know, running the streets with my homeboys and doing things that, you know, I, I'm sure I shouldn't have been doing as I grew up, you know, I'm, I'm 44 years old now. So, you know, I grew up and now, now I'm going back to school to learn things, to learn, uh, you know, the things to better myself, to better my business, uh, to better, better myself for the clients that I'm dealing with, for my customers, uh, and create better, uh, create more, and create better content. Uh, content is key. I'm gonna keep pushing out as much content as I possibly can, uh, so so that everybody can, you know, stop and listen and uh, share this information, and uh, and uh, <clears throat> we can grow together. You know, uh, I want to help you build your business. I want to help people, with, you know, with graphic design. And, you know, I use a, I also use a tool called Grammarly that helps me out with my grammar. It's, you know, it's a, it's a free tool or they have upgraded, uh, <clears throat> upgraded ways to share, you know, to help you with your grammar, to help you with your spelling. Uh, I don't really have that much problem with spelling. I, I was always great at spelling, but as far as uh, grammar, punctuation, writing sentences the right way, uh, you know, creating the phrases the right way. I don't remember none of that stuff from school. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been to school. Uh, so a, a lot of the times when I'm writing stuff, um, they may not come out the right way. So uh, I, I do use Grammarly and I'm gonna ask them if they could put, you know, and I place a nice little ad on here so that, you know, I could get more people to use Grammarly. It, you know, it's a tool. It's a tool to help you with writing uh, if you want to write. So again, uh, thank you for guys for listening. My name is Michael Franklin. This is MichaelFranklinJr.com. Uh, I got I guys. I want you guys to subscribe, uh, post, become a sponsor, help us grow. You know, uh, pay for some episodes. Um, there, you know, I'm, I, I plan on having a lot of people on the episodes. Matter of fact, one more thing I had to talk about. You know, I have to talk about Raw Remedies. Raw Remedies is the uh, the one of the best uh, black-owned beauty salons in Las Vegas for all natural hair. If you want to get lots done, you, it's best to start at Raw Remedies, uh, which is in the uh, the Arts District on Colorado, 203 Colorado Street. Uh, look it up. They have a website, rawremediesLV.com. Uh, um, so that's another one. That's another business that, that I work with. I started all of the Google listing and all of that type of stuff for Raw Remedies. Um, so, and uh, <clears throat> thank you guys for listening. Like I said, go uh, sub like and subscribe and listen to the show. Uh, share the show with all your friends. And uh, let's, let's keep this thing growing. Keep this information going. Share it, you know. Do it. I say do the best you can to to help this information grow. Uh, again, thank you guys for listening and you guys have a great day.